Hi, I'm Jay Sellers with the Brunswick Land Joint Water and Sewer Commission. Let's dig a little deeper into our processes here to learn more about how a tap for water service is made. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, public drinking water systems provide service to 90% of Americans with over 151,000 state and federally regulated active utilities. The remaining 10% of U.S. residents have to maintain their own water system, found mostly in rural areas where services cannot be economically or practically extended. Those that are tied in to our utility network will find that providing high quality drinking water for you and your family is supported by our 160 staff that work daily to ensure that your water service is safe, reliable, and of the highest possible quality. There are primarily two types of water systems, surface water and groundwater. Surface water systems tend to be more costly due to a myriad of steps needed to filter, disinfect, and treat the river, pond, lake, or rain runoff water. All of our water is sourced from wells, much like local, small community, or single residential use wells. We are able to keep costs down using this type of system due to the minimal treatment that is required thanks to the naturally high quality of local groundwater. Our water production operators typically do no more than test the water for mineral level, shock it with chlorine at a safe level to inhibit bacterial growth during periods of reduced flow in the pipes, and then add a small amount of phosphates for corrosion control in the galvanized pipes. About 80% of the Glenn County population is served by our community water system. In areas that have service connections available, a short visit to our office can get the tap-in process started. That usually begins with the payment of what are known as capital improvement fees. In most cases, the water main is close enough that a simple and quick hot tap can be made, keeping the main under pressure and allowing us to reduce or prevent any inconvenience to neighboring customers. If the water distribution main needs to be extended to accommodate any new connection, this can also be done relatively quickly, though the cost to extend the main is generally paid by the homeowner or developer seeking the service. Before we begin digging to make new connections, we call 811 to reach out to the Georgia Utilities Protection Center to give other utilities the opportunity to mark their services. We follow this process in the same way that you would if you were about to dig, providing at least a 48-hour period for these markings or flags to appear to help reduce the risk of digging into power, cable TV, gas, telephone, internet, or other services. This 811 process saves time, money, and could potentially help us avoid a life-threatening injury, especially where we encounter buried high-voltage power lines. Once the utility locates have been completed, we get to work excavating the area where we intend to set your water meter. The desirable location of the meter is at or very near the property line. This allows us to have a clear dividing line between the location of our service tap and meter, often placed within an area known as the utility easement, and your private plumbing, which begins at the meter box. Once the meter has been set, you or your plumber are then able to extend the house plumbing to the meter on new construction or after disconnecting it from your private well on existing homes or businesses. You're then able to make use of a well-regulated source of water in the community that is maintained daily by state licensed operators that work hard to keep the system pressure up and the risk of bacterial growth down. In most areas, you also get the added benefit of having access to the fire suppression water system, including the hydrants that dot our community. Proximity to this system helps keep insurance premiums down by giving our firefighters instant access to adequate volumes of water for fire suppression. When you look to build a home or business in Glenn County, we hope that you will take advantage of our services. If you're just visiting us, we hope that you've had a pleasant visit and were able to enjoy your time here. Every day, the staff of the JWSC is here to serve you.